Greetings! Welcome to the Road Cook. Today we are going to stuff or roll a pork loin depending on your perspective. Uh, this will be a half pork loin. Um, you can do the whole ones but it's a little easier to learn on the halves. Uh, this one's a little over four pounds which is going to give you somewhere between eight and twelve servings depending on the size. Before we start cutting on the pork and getting all icky, we'll go ahead and we'll mix our filling. So for that, I've got one cup of sliced almonds. I've got one cup of crushed cracked pecans. And all I did is I put them in the bag and I just beat them with my handy dandy little meat hammer. This side is for tenderizing with the spikes on it. The flat side is for smashing. Don't confuse them, you'll make a mess. Um, you can of course put this in a food processor, burr stick, what have you. Uh, it's just fast and easy. And I don't care, it, it's not the time of, kind of presentation where it needs to be even because it's going to be inside the pork loin and cooking with it. So uh, a rough cut's fine. So one cup of almonds, one cup of pecans, One cup of dried apricots. I had the whole apricot, some dried ap sun dried apricots, and I took them and I sliced them so it would go across the pork loin easier. Um, also, there's a million different ways of doing this. Let your imagination take you. I had decided I was in a sweet, maybe heat kind of mood for this, but also with these pork loins, I've stuffed them with um, fresh basil and spinach. Uh, Roma tomatoes and uh, mozzarella with um, uh, Parmesan or provolone, something like that. Uh, you can do all different kinds of nuts, fruits, just whatever your imagination wants to go. All right, one cup almonds, one cup pecan, one cup apricot, and one whole shallot sliced thin. The shallot will act with the sweet and just give it a little bit of that. Oh my goodness, what are you? All right. So that's all there is to the filling. Put that off to the side. Now we're going to slice our pork loin. So here I have just a real nice pork loin. And I know the camera angles aren't the best for this, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to make an incision about two thirds of the way up and about three quarters of the way back. You're going to roll this, cut down half the remaining distance, and then cut back three quarters of the way. All right? That's going to open it up both ways. So about two thirds of the way up and about three quarters of the way back. Doesn't have to be perfect. This will be stuffed and wrapped anyway. Okay, that's the first flap. And you cut down about half of the remaining distance, right up to this point. Okay, and then you're going to cut level with the first flap three quarters of the way over. few times I didn't put a hole in it. All right. So, technically, that's all you need to do to uh, stuff it. Now you can put your ingredients inside and you can roll it up. We're not going to do that. piece of plastic across the top I'm going to take my handy dandy meat hammer and I'm just going to even it out I don't need to make it any bigger or flatter 
but just by the nature of cutting it, it's a little uneven. So I'm just going to like thin it out a little bit just to make it a little easier on me. This is all about making it easier on me. Lemon juice and water, very good for the heart and the digestion. Water and apple cider vinegar, very good for the heart and the digestion. Okay. So now we have this beautiful flat piece of pig. And what I'm going to do, because my filling, as you may have noticed, the filling is is loose okay now you could pour um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use honey and you could pour honey into this and make it paste and spread it on there but just because I've done this a couple times I find it easier to put the honey on this and then excuse me spread this on that so um, I'd say more or less a quarter cup of honey which is measured thusly All right, I might have been off by a gram or two. Okay, spread that around. Oh my goodness, that smells better than I thought it was going to. Hey, yes, folks, I just made this up before we for the shoe. Well, actually, I worked on it a couple days thinking it through. Okay. I want to take it as close to the edge as I can, but in all honesty, you're not really, you don't really want to take it right to the edge because then anything that's in that vicinity is just going to fall out. Now you just roll it. All right, leave it seam down. See, it's already beautiful and falling apart. <laughs> Got a couple of trader nuts here. They're going back in whether they like it or not. Okay. See, that didn't take but a minute, did it? So now, as you may or may not know, pork loins don't have a whole lot of fat to them, and they can get dry. Another reason we stuff them is um, to add that flavor to the otherwise dry meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take bacon, and I'm going to kind of wrap bacon around it. may have to cut it. I like to leave it whole. Yeah, we're going to cut it. Uh, reason being is after the bacon goes on, I'm going to tie it with twine anyway, which I, of course, forgot to get out. So this is not, the bacon's not to hold it together in any manner. It's to make a better presentation and um, also to give it some, some fat content, some moisture. Whether it's good or not, the flavor's in the fat. Oh, stubborn bacon. Don't you love it? I can't wait till we get to the new house. I can make my own bacon. I'm going to make my own everything. You guys want to learn how to make bacon with me? Easy peasy. Give me a little pork belly. Give me a little Traeger time. Pull out my old meat slicer. That's about all there is to it. And I'd say this was maybe a half pound of bacon, 
definitely no more than that. This is as close to presentation as you ever going to get from me. <laughs> Alright. We're going to need probably five. Use a sharpening scissors. I will get my knife out. As you go, clean as you go. What I like to do is go to the middle and work out. And it's really easy. All you're going to do is you're just going to run this underneath. If it, if it gives you trouble, just seesaw it. But generally, it goes under pretty slick. Yes, I've seen a lot of people, and I have done it myself, where they have a special wrapping stitch, and you take the whole roll, and you start here, and you do this, you know, I was a paramedic too, and I learned how to stitch people up, and I can do that. I can also knit, and I can also crochet, but I'm not going to sit here and waste all my bailing twine just to, bailing twine, that was funny, waste all my twine just doing that, just put them on here and tie them up. I'm going to cut them up before, I cut them off before I cut it up anyway, all right? And of course, I got the old oven rocking and rolling about 350 degrees, the all purpose temperature. You can argue that another day, too. Coming two more from the other end. All I'm doing is just splitting the distance. Split the distance and keep on time. Now, I can't tell you exactly how long to bake this thing. Every oven's a little bit different. Earlier I did a biscuit uh, video, and most of the time, this is going to take about 15 minutes. And my oven, even though I got a thermometer and I'm watching the temperature, one of the, either the oven's lying or the thermometer is, because then biscuits took 25 minutes. Okay. Normally, we're looking at about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, but at an hour, start to watch it, look for the browning, look for juices bubbling in the pan, uh, smell. If you smell it's done, it's done. You want to probe this thing to about 165. Personally, I pull them at about 160, even 155 because I'm going to rest it and it's going to finish cooking as it rests and relax. And I will rest something like this for about a half hour before I serve it. Um, and I don't want to dry it out. That's why I don't want to take it to the higher temp. But if you're fussy about the pork, no problem. You can take it as high as 170, 175 to make sure it's good and done. But it's going to start to get tough about that. And then you have to take it all the way to 210 to make it soft and turn it into pulled pork, and that's a video for another day. 
All right. So you can grab it underneath. You can grab it by the strings. Right now, it's, it's very manageable. Well, somewhat manageable. And I'm putting it lengthways. I could put it like that, but I'm putting it lengthways. When this goes into the oven, I think it's going to have a better heat dispersal. Always think about things like that. Okay. So that's all for now. We're going to stick this puppy in the oven. And uh, I'll be back in a couple hours. Or whenever it's done. See you soon. Does my remote need a new battery? Alright, welcome back. Been about an hour. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull the pork loin out and we're going to temp it and take a look at it and see what we're dealing with. Alright, looking pretty good. bacon could probably use a little bit more browning but we'll go ahead and temp it and see where we're at now when you temp a rolled uh, loin like this you need to be mindful of where your probe is going to be uh, you want to make sure it stays in the pork stays in the meat if you if you go into where the stuffing is the honey uh, and the sugars are going to give you a false positive pun intended um, so let's let's try a uh, couple sticks in the middle here, see where we're at. Okay, just a light penetration there is showing 140. Now when you pull your probe out, look to see if you get any uh, juice or anything coming back out of the hole. I'm not showing anything, so I can tell you right now this needs to go back in for a while. Yeah, going straight in the end, I'm still getting 140, which is actually a good sign because it's showing that it's an even heat. And uh, same thing at this end, uh, plus on this end, the probe was a little difficult going in. So uh, I'd say maybe another 15 minutes, 20 max. Uh, and here again, watch, watch your bacon. When that bacon's nice and brown and starting to crisp up, you're pretty much there. And as always, trust your nose. If you can smell it, it's probably done. All right. So we'll check back in about 15 minutes or so. All right, here we go. See the difference that 20 minutes makes? It's all nice and crispy. This thing's sizzling. These oil's running out of it. Um, very happy to see the stuffing all stayed in place. Nothing got hot and ran out. Uh, the, whole, the whole apartment just smells wonderful. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, probe goes in much easier. tough down here but that just might be the meat oh yeah we're showing we're showing 180 down here we're showing about 165 on the other end this end is narrower too and about 160 over here and after this rest for a half hour yeah, that's 165 there. After this rests for a half hour, it will go up in temperature. It will stabilize unilaterally in temperature, and uh, it'll, it'll relax and become much more tender. So that's all there is to it. No big deal. Simply stuffed rolled pork loin. And, you know, improvise the ingredients. I'll put this recipe down below, but uh, don't be shy. Be creative. You can put barbecue sauce on it. You can smoke it. Um, you can stuff it with other, like, uh, 
you know, a, a, let's say like a Hawaiian pizza. You could put uh, pineapple and ham inside or treat it like a Cuban sandwich where you got the pork out here and you put a black forest ham in there, maybe with some Swiss cheese and some mustard. The, the possibilities are endless. I'm getting hungry. I got to go. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for putting up with the road cook. Uh, hope to see you again. And in the meantime, uh, have a great day. Eat well and be wonderful to each other.